Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on, on Vyond, and this has got to do with the American troops at this moment who are still stationed in Iraq. And Iraq has made it clear, and it has done so for the last several years now, that it warns all American military presence out of their country. And Baghdad isn't mincing its words. It wants the U.S. troops to leave and leave as soon as the United States can. Now, the United States and Iraq have now held the first round of talks that are focused on the future of American and foreign troop presence in Iraq. The country's prime minister has hosted the initial round of talks. The troops are stationed, according to the Americans, to help Iraq fight against the ISIS terrorists. Now, Iraq says that the aim of the dialogue is to formulate a specific timeline and to begin the gradual reduction of the coalition's advisers on Iraqi soil. It has also described the U.S. troops' presence as a destabilizing factor on the Iraqi nation. While the U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin earlier said that the working group will take three factors into consideration. The threat of the so-called Islamic State, the operational and environmental requirements and also the capabilities of the Iraqi security forces. He further said that Washington remains committed to a secure, stable and a sovereign Iraq. And now the talks have covered a time when tensions have been on the rise in the region. The U.S. bases in the region have repeatedly come under attacks, fueled by its support for Israel. Since the Israel-Hamas war started in October, 150 attacks targeting coalition troops have been carried out. And this includes nearly about 60 attacks in Iraq and over 90 attacks in Syria. The many attacks have been claimed by the Islamic resistance in Iraq, a loose alliance of pro-Iranian groups. The United States has in total got about 13 bases in Iraq, out of which seven are said to be active. And there are still about 2,500 American troops who are serving in Iraq and 900 in Syria. Now, the United States returned to Iraq in 2014 to help tackle the threat of Islamic State and deployed troops to advise the Iraqi security forces. Vyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.